Now let's solve these questions. Um, number one, we have three zero one base y is equals to one nine three base ten. Now to do this, three zero one base y one nine three base ten. This one is in base 10 already, you don't need to change it. So anytime the base is an unknown, you change it to base 10 first. Since the base is 10 there, I don't need to change that one. So, but I need to change this one since the base is Y. So that means this will be as usual, 3 times Y plus 0 times Y plus 1 times Y. That will be 0 one two which is equals to one nine three base ten now this is the same thing as three y square plus zero plus one because zero times anything is zero then one times one is one so is equals to one nine three base ten so color like times this is 3y squared equals 193 minus 1 because this plus if it cross this becomes minus so 3y squared is equals to 193 that will be 192 so you have um, 192 Then y square equals 192 divided by 3. y square equals 64. Then y is equals to square root of 64. y equals to 8. So that is the answer. So if you look at this, it's easy in this way. But if you use the short, other short method, to convert it to base 10. If you use the other short method to convert it to base 10, that one too will be fast. So let me use other method. So first thing, I'll say 3 times y, 3y plus zero still three y three y times y three y squared and plus one equals one ninety three then we can proceed blah 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 so that is another way of doing it now number two Number two, four, five, base n equals one zero 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 one base two. Now to convert, first thing, change this one is not in base ten, so you need to change it to base ten. This one is in base n, you need to change it to so you are changing both sides. Yeah. So this will be 4 times n plus 5 times n, 0, 1, equals to 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 2. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this will be 4n plus 5 equals to 1 times 32 because 2 raised to the power 5 is 32. All this one, 0 times anything is 0. So that means all this one will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Because 0 times anything is 0, then 1 times 1, 1.
this is 4n plus 5 equals 32 plus 1. 4n plus 5 equals 33. 4n equals 33 minus 5. 4n is equals to 28. Then n is equals to 28 over 4. So n is equals to 7. Answer. So you can also use the short method to convert from beginning. So like you say four times n four n plus the next number. So that will be four n plus 5 that is 4 times n 4n plus 5 then the same thing here 1 times 2 2 plus 0 2 the 2 again times 2 4 plus 0 still 4 the 4 again times 2 8 plus 0 8 the 8 again times 2 16 plus 0 16 the 16 again times 2 32 plus 1 that will be 33. So just collect like times. 4n is 33 minus 5. 4n is equal to 28. n is 28 over 4. n equals to 7. So now it will make your work easier if you use that other method to change to base time. So number 3. Three, one y one four. One y one four base five equals one eight four base ten. Now this one is in base ten already, so I don't need to change it again. But I'll need to change this one to base ten. So now one times five plus y times five plus 1 times 5 plus 4 times 5 so equals to 1 it's 4 so number this one 0 1 2 3 so this is 1 times 1 2 5 because 5 raised to power 3 is 1 2 5 so plus 25y plus 5 plus 4 equals 184. So now collect like terms. This will be 25y. So 125 plus 5, 130 plus 134 equals 184. 25y equals 184 minus 134. 25y is equals to 550. So y equals to 50 divided by 25. So y equals to 2. That is the answer. Now the next one, number 4. Number four, if you have 32 base s equals 20 base 10, so that will be 3 times x plus 2 times x is equals to, this one is in base 10 already, so leave it, that's still 20, this is 0, 1. Now this is 3s plus 2 equals 20. So collect like times 3s is 20 minus 2. 3s is 18. S is 18 over 3. 
S is 6. So that's how you can solve a question with unknown base. So.